So this one's for my family. So, you know, if you're not family, you might want to scroll on, and, you know, unless, you know, you're curious, which a lot of people are. We just like to butt our nose in places where they don't go. <laughs> but uh, I don't mean that disrespectfully. I was trying to make a joke out of it. But this is for my family. My family has always been supportive. I ain't gonna lie. When my grandfather passed away, that's when a family started separating. He was like the cog in the butler machine. Uh, anyways, I got a lot of family out there. And they put up with my shit. You know how many times I heard, hey, look, tomboy's chasing UFOs again. Yeah. Yeah, I have been. But you know what? It didn't stop me. I kept digging. And it opened up my eyes to a lot of stuff. Uh, I hit a deep depression there. Of course, that's why you guys know I started my channel. That's like my visual therapy. Uh, I, I, I lost it. I had finally got my crap together in life and was, was making lead way by the society in which I grew up in standards. And it got ripped away from me. And I hit rock bottom. But during that time period, I started paying attention. Because I spent a lot of time by myself. I mean, I did spend time by myself. My ex-wife got the kids. I sent my wife to, with her oldest daughter, you know. And I just started paying attention to things, you know. And the one thing I had to accept is that everything that I grew up knowing and everything they taught all of us at that time period was a lie. Orchestrated, narrated. So I wanted the opportunity, first of all, to apologize. I took myself out of the family for multiple reasons. Needed to be for selfish growth and knowledge. Uh, a lot of it was paranoia and fear. I've been afraid this whole time that I hid from you guys, thinking it will protect you. Or it's hard to explain. I'm going down a path that they call the dead man's walk. Uh, it's not about suicide. It's not about drugs. It's not about alcohol, even though, you know, I'm, I'm still smoking. I drink energy drinks like a fish. It's... I am going to fight against what's going on in today's world. This has been planned. There's not many people trying to stop it. There are a lot of people that are done. They're ready for the end. And I can't. And it has to do with all of you. I have imprinted memories and dreams of the days growing up, going down to Aunt Roxy's farm every summer, anticipating that fresh food off the farm, out of the ground, socializing, playing games, things like that. <clears throat> A lot of us have been through things we shouldn't have gone through. And for the longest time, I held resentment. Timmy... You know what I'm talking about. We've all been through some shit. But what helped me understand it, and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from, all that shit was part of a social experiment. All of it. I hold no animosity to anybody at all. I have no hatred for anybody at all. I love all of you. Every single one of you. And I don't say it enough because I don't communicate enough. But I ever realized how much I'm taking myself away from the family until I was completely banned from Facebook. And I couldn't even watch over your guys' lives virtually like I did for years. I miss all y'all. And I hope one day we all could get together. But I am fighting a war. And I'm a dead man walking. And I accept that. And I'm proud of it. And I think our grandfather would have been proud. The world 
it's going in the wrong direction if people don't stand up together. So the only thing I ask out of my family, my blood, is to remember the creed of what butlers were. We were to serve man. Not be man's servant, but to serve man. Just do what you can. All of you are decent human beings. And a lot of you don't realize how deep and deceptive this narrative has been. I want you all to be safe. But I also want you to be aware. I love you guys. My sisters. My parents. My cousins. My extended family. The friends that I haven't been a very good friend for. Because, well, you know. I don't want no one dying at my expense. I love all of you. Every single one of you. James, you think that you got kicked out of this house because of hatred? No. There's a lot you need to learn and I can't help you with it because I was going to lose my shit. I was going to lose my patience. You deserve better. Robbie, same with you. I didn't turn my back on you. I'm just staying out of your way. There's a lot about yourself that you're failing to see. A lot about who you are the inside that you're trying to kill. My cousin Tina, mad respect for the things you've had to accomplish in these years. I love you. My sisters Ruthie and Connie. Ruth, I respect how you keep yourself. I really do. I love you guys. Uh, we not have always seen eye to eye, and I know a lot of times y'all thought I was crazy, but I'm I'm not as nuts as they think. You're not as, not as nuts as they want to portray us. Ruth, you're doing a great job. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You were the most talented out of all of us. Your voice could have made you millions. But right now, you got to focus on them grandbabies. And what kind of world are they going to be stuck with if we all don't stick together? For real. Kathy, Mary, you all been through a hell of a lot, but look at where you've come in life. I never stopped loving y'all. Never stop thinking about any of y'all. I'm just sorry I'm not there. But I am in spirit. I believe that. And like I said, I'm trying to fight a war. I just want y'all to know. All that stuff we've gone through in life. Every bit of it's been a learning experience. And honestly, I wouldn't change any of it. Even the dark stuff. It helped me become who I am today. And... Same with a lot of you. Y'all have overcome everything. We've had addictions in the family. We've overcame them. We've had alcoholism. Well, I guess that's still addiction, isn't it? We overcame them. We're overcoming fear right now. I used to see it on the comments, especially Charlie. Charlie, see, see, look at me. I can't talk. And you guys are family. I already know how to say your names. Yeah. Getting really dry mouth. <clears throat> Anyways. Charlie and Rachel C. Are the most awake of the millennials that I've seen yet. And you know what? That's a good thing. Because they're looking out for their kids. And what kind of future they're going to have. I can't ask you all of anything. I, I can't ask anybody for forgiveness. I can't ask anybody for favors. I just. I can't do all this. Because none of it's relevant. What's relevant is, is those days we grew up learning and being family. We used to be so tight-knit until Papa passed away. And I said it before, we should try to get the family back. But I think right now, the most important thing we need to do is that little sect you got, that little section you have, teach them to keep their eyes open. Prepare them to deal with what's coming. And we could do this without physical war. This is not our world. We belong to it. And we are expendable. Just like any other species that came extinct before us. 
But this time, unlike all the other ones, it's going to be our own hand. And that's if we just lay back and be like, eh, whatever. We were raised growing up that two things you didn't talk about in the household at the table was politics and religion. That would probably be the only and biggest lie we were ever taught growing up. Because if no one gets involved with those things, <clears throat> there can never be any solutions. All of it has been written by people who thought they were smarter than all of us. And I guess in some avenues they are. You know, I ain't got no Harvard degree. And I might not spell well. And I might stutter over my words while I'm speaking, but I ain't stupid. I'm not as smart as some people. I ain't no Elon Musk. But that saying, they've treated us like we were retarded long enough. They dumbed down the school systems. You see it between your education and your kids' education. I know you guys see that. Just help me fight this war for your kids and your grandkids. I don't even care if you guys start your own channel. You know, don't make me famous. I don't want to make no damn money. I, I'm a butler. If I want to freaking get out there and work, I'm going to get out there and work. Just live up to the surname. To serve man. That's all we were meant to do. And now's the time. Now is the time. This is the crucial point in life. Please, guys, for anything, do it for these kids. Do it for yourselves. Don't just take my word for it like Charlie and Rachel knows and my nieces and nephews. and It's all out there. Legitly out there. It's not a conspiracy theory. They have paperwork everywhere. It was, was planned. And there's more in us than them. And we need to stand up and say, nope, you guys had your run. It's time to stop. We got to. Or it's all worthless. I may be a lot of things in my life. An asshole. A bigot. An addict. A whoremonger. But one thing I have not been. Is anti-humanitarian. And neither are any of you. I love you all. Love you guys very much.